Hi, I'm Doug Seek. Welcome to our operation. We're in north central South Dakota, Walworth County. Uh, we're about 10 miles east of the Missouri River, about 30 miles north or south of the North Dakota border. Uh, my family moved up to this country about 1920, so we've been up here just about 100 years. My great-grandfather came up here first, uh, so my great-grandfather, my grandfather, and my father uh, have all been involved in ag production, and, and I'm, I'm doing it too. We've all raised cattle and, and cropland, and that's what my operation is too. I use uh, crops and cover crops up on the cropland. We're planting a fair amount of cropland back to grass as part of the rotation, trying to work with the deep-rooted perennials to build soil organic matter and improve the soil health. We're doing things on the rangeland different too. Where we used to use season-long range periods in the pastures, we've, we've, we've cut it into longer rest periods. We're doing more rotational grazing. We're not doing just uh, rest periods that involve a month or so. We're doing rest periods that involve up to 360 to 364 days a year. This particular pasture right here is using a system called high density plant intensive grazing. We cut this, we leave the cattle in here for about 100 days, so we cut it into about 100 five acre paddocks. We'll move the cattle into a new paddock each day. There are about 150 cow calf pairs out here. Uh, so we're shooting at a stock density of about 50,000 pounds per acre. What this does, uh, the long rest periods allow the plants to develop better root systems. Okay, they can rebuild their roots. I used to think overgrazing was a factor of how short I chewed the grass off. Turns off that overgrazing is a factor of how long I, can, I let them keep biting it off. You bite a plant off and it starts growing back about three to five days later. If I let that cow bite the plant again while it starts to grow back, it sets it back a long ways. It makes a lot of difference in the root mass underground. I come down once a day and I wind up about 300 feet of string and they move into the next section and I just keep leapfrogging. Once I've leapfrogged for four or five days in a row, I move over and I do another leapfrog section of four or five days in a row in a 20 acre segment. If I need to be out of town for a few days, I'll just give them a bigger segment. If I'm going to be gone for three days, maybe I'll give them a five day segment. Uh, quality of life. We're trying to do things to make it easier to make money and to enjoy life. And look at what we're doing with, with the grass. There's plenty of grass out here. Uh, we chewed this off pretty short last year. Uh, but we gave it a long rest period. And the long rest period seems to be key to making this system work. Thanks for joining us today. I'm glad you came out here and looked things over with us. Uh, we looked at the cover crops and the different tilling systems and how the water soaked in. And we came down here and we've looked at how we're managing cattle different too. And the, the, the real goal in both systems is to do whatever we can to get the water to soak in better. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot. Have a nice day.